Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District educates more than 116,500 students. It is the second largest district in Harris County, third in Texas, and 23rd in the nation, with room to grow in its 186 square miles. Currently, there are 91 schools, including 12 high schools, 18 middle schools, 56 elementary schools, and five specialty schools. A 50-member committee representing a diverse cross-section of the community evaluated and assessed the current and future needs of the district. The committee presented a recommendation to the Board of Trustees to address instructional and support facilities, safety and security enhancements, transportation, technology, and facilities renovations and additions. The board unanimously approved the recommendation for a $1.762 billion bond referendum to be placed on the ballot for a bond election on May 4th. Here's what you need to know about the CFISD 2019 bond referendum. To support enrollment growth, the committee recommended several new instructional and support facilities, including a new elementary school and a new middle school. Elementary 59 will be located in the far southwest portion of the district and will provide enrollment relief to M. Robinson, Sheridan, and Wilson Elementary Schools. Middle School 20 will be located at the Bridgeland High School multi-campus complex and will provide enrollment relief to Smith Middle School. Also included in the committee's plan was a maintenance storage facility, a center for performing and visual arts, and an instructional support center. A district-wide center for visual and performing arts will address the growing K-12 fine arts programs, including art, band, choir, orchestra, dance, and theater. The center will have a larger seating capacity than the Berry Center Theater and school auditoriums. There are more than 1,600 fine arts events held annually, and nearly 200 of these events are held outside of the district due to the lack of available space. Did you know that 87,000 students take a CFISD fine arts class every week? A new instructional support center was included in the recommendation to address the need for additional office and meeting space due to the growth the district has experienced since moving to this facility in 1992. Since 1992, student enrollment has increased by more than 70,000. As a result of this growth, the center of the district has also shifted. In 1992, only 26 campuses were located north and west of FM 1960 and Highway 6. Today, 68 campuses are located north and west of FM 1960 and Highway 6, with five additional campuses projected by 2025. The new Instructional Support Center and Center for Visual and Performing Arts will be located on the 26-acre site at Highway 290 and Matsky Road. This site was selected due to its central location and ease of access for all employees, parents, and community members. Safety and security enhancements, such as security for open concept floor plans in elementary schools, fencing around portable buildings and playgrounds, classroom phones, and metal detectors are included. Additional card readers and door prop alarms on exterior doors will also be added, along with replacement of classroom door hardware. The PA systems will be enhanced and exterior windows and doors will be numbered to assist first responders in emergency situations. Impact resistant glass on doors and high traffic areas, enhancements to secured entry vestibules and video intercoms, additional lockdown buttons, and upgraded intrusion detection panels will also be included in the security upgrades. Expansion of the Ben Bradley Security Center, the facility that houses the Cypress Fairbanks Police Department, is included in the bond package. The department has grown from 63 officers in 2014 to 107 in 2019. The safety and security category also includes a police vehicle and radio replacement cycle and upgrades to our dispatch center equipment and consoles. CFISD buses approximately 80,000 students to and from school each day. Additional buses will be purchased to accommodate the growing number of students in CFISD, along with the replacement of aging buses. All new buses purchased are equipped with three-point safety belts. A new transportation facility will be located on the northwest side of the district. 
The bond package includes upgrades to the district's technology infrastructure and instructional technology to prepare students academically and to assist district personnel with the day-to-day -day running of the district. Included with this portion of the bond package are classroom technology, wireless, special education and flex space technology and cybersecurity measures. Facilities renovations and additions were also recommended, including additions to the CFISD Exhibit Center and West Green Ag Science Center, career and technical education, or CTE, additions like new welding, HVAC and culinary arts classrooms, relocation of the Maybelline Carpenter Center, fine arts enhancements, including the expansion of art and music rooms, black box theater additions and renovations, orchestra rehearsal space, and band director towers. Athletic enhancements, including renovation of baseball and softball fields, additional tennis courts, and outdoor athletic storage at all middle and high schools. Repurpose of the old Winfern campus and CTE additions to the new Winfern campus and SciFair High School multi-campus site drainage and traffic remediation. It is critical that the public understands how school funding works and the limitations imposed upon public school districts by the state. There are two different revenue sources that fund the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District. The first is revenue generated by the Maintenance and Operations, or M&O, tax rate. The district's general fund is developed from the monies collected from the M&O tax rate, as well as from state, federal, and grant funding. The general fund is what CFISD uses to pay for day-to-day -day operations, such as salaries, instructional supplies, utilities, insurance, and fuel. The second is revenue generated from the interest and sinking, or I&S, tax rate. The I&S fund is the mortgage side of the district's finance structure. This fund can only be used for the payment of principal and interest on the bonds sold for capital improvements for facilities, land, technology and equipment, and buses. The maximum projected impact this bond will have on our taxpayers is a three cent increase on the district's 2019 anticipated 40 cent I and S tax rate. In the first year, there will be no tax increase. Each year after, there is a possibility of an incremental increase in the tax rate. This is equivalent to about $4 more a month on your tax bill based on a $200,000 home. The 2014 bond had a projected tax impact of a maximum increase of 4.5 cents. In actuality, the tax rate decreased by one cent. The local homestead exemption of 20%, which CFISD has preserved over the years, will not be affected by this bond. Homeowners 65 years and older are not impacted by the 2019 bond. School district taxes on resident homesteads are frozen on the year the taxpayer turns 65 years of age and will not increase as a result of a school bond election. The Cypress Fairbanks ISD's $1.762 billion bond referendum will be a single proposition on the ballot on Election Day, Saturday, May 4, 2019. A list of polling sites for both early voting, April 22nd through 30th, and Election Day, May 4th, are posted on the district website. For more information, go to www.cfisd.net.